Now let's see the last function that is seek p. The seek p is used to move the put pointer and the put pointer is used to write data into the file. Now how could this seek p function can be used? It is used let's say you want to remove this Dinesh from here and want to add academy here. So when you open your file the pointer would be pointing to the beginning and you have to move your pointer to some location and modify the characters after that. So this function is used when if you want to modify something into your file. So the seekp function is used to move put pointer to the desired location with the help of the reference point and the reference points are beginning, current and end as we have seen earlier also. And the function is called with the help of a file pointer dot seek p the number of bytes we want to move forward or backward depending upon the sign that is plus or minus plus means forward and this minus means backward and these are the reference points. So let's see an example for better understanding. So this is our f out object of class of stream because we are writing data and we have created an array of characters that is storing academy in it. Now after that we have opened our file that is my.txt in input mode. This is the another mode in which we open our file. So the first mode was out mode that is output mode, second was append mode and third is this input mode. We use this input mode in writing the data into the file. Now after that we are calling seekp function and the reference point is beginning. Though this is beginning and it is pointing to the beginning of the file. And we want to move 3 byte ahead. Now after that we are writing our character array into our file with the help of this object fout. This fout is a stream which will take these characters of academy into the file, right? And finally, we are closing our file. Now, to see the practical demonstration and to see the output of this code, let's hop over into Visual Studio. So in Visual Studio, I have written that same code here also. So here, what I want to do is, I want to open the file in input mode. When I open the file in input mode, then it means that the put pointer would be pointing to the beginning of the file. We know that when we open our file in input or out mode, then the pointer initially will point to the starting of the file. But when we open our file in append mode, then it will point to the end of the file, right? So the put pointer will point to the starting of the file. After that, we are calling seekp function. And we are telling this seek p function that I want to move 3 bytes ahead from the beginning. So it will move 3 bytes ahead. 1, 2 and 3. So currently it will be at this position. Right? Now after that we want to write the data that is academy from the put pointer location. And the put pointer is in between D and I. Now let's run our program to see the output of this code. So our program has successfully executed. Now let's check our file. So you can see that it has started writing from that location only and it has replaced the earlier character with the academy. Now finally let's put our learning of seekg and seekp into our mind map. So in seekg we have seen that it is used to move the get pointer with the help of this syntax that is file pointer dot seekg function in which include number of bytes we want to move ahead or backward and the reference points. Now next the seekp function is used to move the put pointer and the syntax is file pointer dot seekp function the number of bytes we want to move backward or forward comma reference points. So I hope the seek t and seek p are pretty clear to you. Excellent.